A former Democratic state rep says he is ready to challenge Governor Malloy not in a party primary, but as a third party candidate in November. Jonathan Pelto, a Mansfield, was thought of as a Democratic Party wonder kid 30 years ago. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis joins us now with more tonight. Mark? Yeah, hi, Ann and Darren. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. I first covered John Pelto 30 years ago when, as a 23-year-old, he successfully ran Gary Hart's winning presidential primary campaign here in Connecticut. He rose within the Democratic Party, became a Democratic Party insider. He had a falling out, and now he is the ultimate outsider. Governor Malloy will be nominated for a second term by the state Democratic Party convention on Friday night. Greenwich businessman Tom Foley is the odds-on favorite to get the Republican Party convention nomination on Saturday. But former Democratic State Representative Jonathan Pelto thinks he has a shot at beating both of them and is considering exploring a run. He's been out of the political limelight for 20 years, now running a political blog and helping other bloggers. I think that there's a growing realization that another four years uh, is not what Connecticut needs when it comes to Dan Malloy. Pelto says the governor's education reforms have alienated teachers and parents and that recent polling shows there are enough disaffected Democrats and independent voters to make a third party candidate viable. In order to win you need about 400,000 votes. Uh, one out of every four Democrats are already saying they won't vote for Malloy. And six out of every ten unaffiliated are saying that they won't vote for Malloy. Republican Tom Foley lost to Malloy by a razor thin margin of about 6,300 votes four years ago. A third party candidate with the kind of organizational skills Pelto has could potentially deny Malloy a second term and assure the Republicans take the governor's office. If it becomes clear that that's the only impact that my candidacy would have, that it would only serve to be a spoiler, then I, I won't proceed. Lots of things in a close election to make a difference. Uh, you know, people have the right to, to, to run. Now, the governor knows that in a close race, a few thousand votes either way could make the difference. Uh, Pelto says that he is going to, uh, that he's ready to form an exploratory committee as soon as next week and is working to see if the followers of his blog around the state are willing to help him do this. Stay tuned. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.